Hey, this is Brad SharpensBest.com. I just got a Dollar Tree saw, and it grabs a little too hard. Doesn't work real good. It isn't too bad, but you know what? Let's see if I can make a better tool out of it. Will it sharpen? That's our new series. See the saw? I'm going to sharpen the back of it. I'm going to make a knife. Yeah, let's go. All right, this is going to be hard to hang on to. Uh, it's not going to be as easy as some of the other things. But I've actually made a knife. In fact, this is not going to be easy at all, to tell you the truth. So let's just do this. Right along there like that. It's a little bit hard on the thumb. Uh, the Dollar Tree saw is actually sharp on the teeth. They're just a little too far apart to make it a very good saw. And I'll tell you what, the metal is flying. So let's just do this. I don't recommend this at all. People think they can just slide that out there. Okay, that'll bite. That's not going to work. Coming back this way is a little bit better. Okay, like this, but it still takes too long. Uh, to try to take this and just run it through there without it being on a more solid, like your knee, uh, area here. Okay, just like that. Let's get busy. I don't want this to be a 10-minute video. Just like that. And that's using the V. So let's actually turn this around. And let's see. I can't remove as much metal this way. But... If I was out there trying to make a blade, I wouldn't use the uh, open face corners there if the V is there. I do like the V for making knives and stuff uh, more so than the open face, but I can see it's, it's actually working. And then turn it over just like that. Come back this way. You can actually rip metal like this going forwards and start back here do it again turn it over I'm gonna run it through the V again hang on that oh, the saw is getting warm <laughs> that's funny just like this peeling more metal off because it's actually got the saw bound up between the two little cross V carbides so it has to cut on both sides just like that it's thicker than the hacksaw blade so it's actually going to take a little more work just like that and the metal is flying I would rather have gloves on if I was going to do this especially if I was going to sit down and make 10 knives out of 10 saws ha 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 all right, let's feel it and see a little more. Not too much, but a little more. Just like this. And the metal she is flying. The back of that saw is actually kind of hard. So that's actually good. The softer the metal, the more it tears. The harder the metal, the more it cuts. If you're going to make a fine blade, you don't want the metal to tear. You want it to cut. All right, let's see. Now we polish it a little bit. I'm going to flip it forth and back like this. Just like that. Come back this way. Go out that way. Turn it over. And then just easy. Okay, now we're just going to go flip the saw. Almost said knife. Which it is kind of a knife now, just like that. Don't press too hard, let it work. Don't make it work. All right. That's hard on elbows. I almost said. <laughs> All right, let's check. You've seen it right here first. The series, will it sharpen? That's a little saw. That's the back of the saw. We turn the saw over. We hang on to the saw. We take the piece of paper. And we cut it. Will it sharpen? 
gang ride at Will. This Brad, take care. Have a good day.